this is gonna be one of those times we realize to make ourselves feel better. Soon run out of hills to climb Oh, I get tired yeah. So in the past few shots, I've just been taking my sheet, cutting it down into strips, and then cutting those strips into components for the car cuts. So now I need to make the back. <laughs> I couldn't count on all the times we gave up, but I don't mind Cause now we feel better Now all the components have been made, we can move upstairs to fix them together Sides are done, now for the back. I swear I need it now more than ever. I swear I need the heat on the leather and the leather on my eyes. The heat on my face. The bitch in my eyes. Now it's clearer than the picture. Yeah. The picture was in motion and it was narrated. Now it's clearer than the picture. Now we're ready to install. I just need to remove the skirt right there, and then hopefully I can just push it into place. After all, we're gonna be. So now the cabinet's installed in the alcove, and I'm not massively screwed up any measurements. I need to level it, and I don't feel any better than you. And this is just a preventative safety measure to stop the cabinet from falling down onto people. Step 2. Edge banding. Seems like this is gonna be one of those. And ideally I would have wanted to do this before assembly, but I couldn't find any edge banding in time. Step three, making the print or kicker board. Now you want to minus at least five mil to your measurements to account for the thickness of the top of the foot. Step 4, making the columns. So I'm cutting them at the same height as the carcass. And the width is the maximum distance to the wall. I swear I need an hour more than ever. I swear I need the heat on the leather and the leather on. And then I can measure the exact distance to the wall at six different points. The vision now is clearer than the pictures. Freehand cut to those measures. Was narrated by Skirting board 
is stopping the column from properly seating. I'm going to take the piece of skirt I cut off earlier, right there. Use it to create a template. And then use that template to cut the column itself. I swear on my intentions are going. And now hopefully it should just slap into place. So now the only real steps left are drilling and installing the shelf pins. Fitting the shelves and filling them with pots. The heat on the leather and the leather on my eyes, the heat on my thighs. 